Hi everyone, today I will be providing an overview of uh, AI calling software. So as you can see, the total success uh, call success rate over here. Uh, the details will be shown over here and if you want to go ahead and uh, have a look at the insights, uh, the like daily, weekly and monthly, all those details are mentioned as well below. And your uh, average response time, we will be able to see the average response in total balance or uh, how many uh, amount of credits we have in our account will be shown over here. Air accuracy, how much accuracy it's providing. Uh, that details will also be mentioned here. And sentimental rate as well as transcription. As insights, we'll be able to have a look at those. And uh, call volume analytics, monthly breakdown of call activity will be shown over here. If you just hover your mouse pointer over here, you'll be able to see how many calls were done for that particular month. Like January, they were nine. And uh, in March, it's uh, 180, okay? And total calls, details, completed call details, and missed calls details will be shown just below that. And the call distribution, we'll be able to see inbound campaigns, outbound campaigns, and good campaigns, which are launched. So quick campaigns, 15, and uh, inbound campaigns, two, outbound campaigns, one. So whenever we launch campaign and those uh, campaigns details will be shown here, quick campaign results and campaign results. In quick campaign results, uh, we can see the name of that particular member who we have called as well as the contact details, duration and uh, status of that call. Since there was not much conversation was done, there's not much the transcription. So if we have a look here or uh, Ankit, the contact details, duration, status of that, and a call recording if you want to play, and we can play that. Uh, we can uh, set the volume of you, and uh, if you want to go ahead and download this conversation, we can do that. If you want to increase the playback speed, uh, those things, we can do that from here too, okay? And uh, notes will provide the summary of it. Notes will provide the summary of the call, and transcription will provide the whole conversation, how it was done. The transcription of that particular call okay uh, and uh, at the top we'll be able to see our profile over here if you just click on profile and uh, go to profile we'll be able to see our first name last name and email as well as phone number we'll be able to edit those as well or uh, accept the email if you want to change the uh, save the changes click here and uh, if you want to change our password, we can just uh, change our password from here, current password, new password, as well as income password. And uh, members, if you want to add members to your account, you can just uh, provide the email ID as well as the row, what kind of uh, access you would like to provide member or admin, you can do that from here. If you want to change the access uh, from here in role section, you can change the access to the joining date will be shown over here and the member name as well as the email. If you'd like to remove them, just click here and they, they will be removed. So in settings, organization, profile, company name, time zone, and the language, okay? You're able to change those options. And uh, we do have multiple options in agents. Once we click on the agents, from here we can create the agents uh, or if you want to go ahead and uh, filter these newest edited or oldest edited, we can filter them there. Or if you want to go ahead and search for particular uh, agent name, we will be able to search that particular agent name from here. And uh, we do have multiple ways of creating an agent. If you want to create agent from scratch, you can do that. If you want to create uh, agent by having a conversation with the AI and providing them the whole details, once the details are provided, it will create a prompt for you based on your business requirements and needs. Uh, use templates. If you would like to go ahead and use some kind of templates which are already provided, you can just click here and uh, use the templates. Event management, real estate, just click on that and uh, click on create agent. Agent successfully created. So from here, if you would like to uh, make any kind of modifications, to your particular agent, uh, just click here and uh, make the modifications in the script as per your requirements and needs. 
and uh, we have provided uh, multiple AI models also ChatGPT O Mini and uh, ChatGPT 4 real time as well as cloud. Okay, I uh, will be able to access all these things. And uh, we have multiple voices. Uh, you can select any voice which you like. If you want to go ahead and listen to those voices, just click here and you'll be able to listen to those voices. Click on it, that voice will be selected. And uh, if you want to select uh, multiple languages from here, any language that you would like, you can select that. Or if you want to go ahead and select multiple languages, you can select that one too. About the end call function, we do have end call function which ends the call. Just give it a description when to end the call. Uh, as per the description provided, it will end the call once the conversation is done. We do have uh, call transfer options too. Uh, just provide the transfer when you transfer the call. And uh, if you would like to give it a static number, just one number, you can provide the number over here along with the country code. If you want to go ahead and give it a dynamic routing, which is like for to reach support, transfer to particular number. And if you want to reach sales, transfer to another number, it will be able to do that too. Okay. Call transfer will just transfer the call. Uh, in warm transfer, we can provide a prompting. It will provide a brief description and then transfer the call to the person it's transferring to. Uh, if you want to uh, use this AI calling software as standalone, you can uh, integrate with Cal.com, connect it with the Cal.com and uh, provide the details, API key, event type, as well as time zone. Uh, along with the description, once all these details are provided, it checks the calendar availability. Uh, to book the calendar, uh, you do have to provide API key, event ID type, as well as the time zone, uh, same as your cal.com settings over here. So it will be able to book those appointments on the calendar. Great. And there's a name. Just provide any name, like uh, your name, just for the uh, test calling purposes. Uh, once you provide it a name, as well as uh, select the number after connecting with the Twilio, or uh, once you set the number and uh, your mobile number here you have to provide uh, make sure the country code is also the pro correct one and uh, click on call it will trigger the call to you on your mobile you'll be able to uh, experience how the call flow is okay and if you'd like to connect with the go high level you can connect with the go high level and uh, from here you can select the uh, lead connector calendar so it will directly book the appointments uh, to your go high level account Okay, right. And uh, we also have voice settings. In voice set voice settings, we do have voice speed, voice speed, the rate of speech, or uh, speed it will decide. So you can either increase it or decrease it based on your preference. And voice temperature, uh, the voice modulation, it basically decides how modulated the voice should be, how sentimental it should be, all those things. And uh, regarding the LLM temperature, if you want the agent to uh, stick with your scripting uh, keep it low if you want to uh, agent to have like uh, creative responses on the conversation just uh, you can increase this temperature it will provide the creative responses while having the conversation interruption settings when customer is uh, having a conversation with the agent and while the agent is providing information customer interrupts the agent will stop speaking and um, listen to the response or information which they are providing then provide the response accordingly voice volume how much louder it should be on the call the agent's volume uh, that we can edit from here in call settings we do have voicemail detection if you want to enable voicemail detection and uh, once the voicemail is detected if you would like to hang up uh, it will be able to do that it is capable enough and if you want to leave a message on voicemail you can just uh, enable this one and uh, do the prompting for that. And uh, there's a voice mail detection duration. So we can set the duration of uh, detecting that voice mail. And uh, end call on silence. Whenever the customer doesn't provide any kind of response for long term period, then it will end that particular call at that time. And max call duration, how much longer the call should be and uh, based on prompting as well as uh, possible objections they're going to ask 
so we will set the time limit accordingly in ivr navigation if there is a ivr set on the other side the customer's end uh, so it, it is capable enough to navigate as well as uh, press that particular digit in order to have a conversation with the real person okay right and uh, post call analysis if you want to get uh, some kind of description and uh, what kind of data we want to retrieve from that particular call if you give it a description it will uh, retrieve that data and provide the summary of that and there's a advanced settings too uh, speech settings and uh, reminder settings keyword settings as well as ambient sound in ambient sound we can uh, make the environment more uh, humanistic by selecting a call center the background noise of that uh, call will be like uh, they are calling from the call center itself okay uh, reminder settings uh, it will frequently remind them if they are not providing any kind of response uh, based on those seconds we select it will uh, provide them or ask them are you still with me are you still there this kind of questions how many times you want to remind them uh, we can set that count as well from here okay uh, and uh, also regarding the speech settings we do have multiple ones enable back channeling and uh, all those details will be shown over here in this small eye icon they will be explained like uh, mm, all those uh, small sounds in order to make it like humanistic experience wise okay so in templates as i have told you while creating the agent we can select any template and make the modifications accordingly from here we can launch the campaigns if you would like to launch campaigns or if you want to you know search for those particular campaigns we can filter them inbound outbound or status filter post active completed okay or if you want to go ahead and search for particular campaign you can type the name over here it will search for that particular campaign so when we are creating a campaign just we have to click on create new once we click on create new if you are using like standalone this ai column software then we have to launch like campaign give it a name since we are doing the testing let's just name it test and we select the agent here which we have created and uh, we're going to select uh, is this going to be like inbound or outbound campaign and uh, we do need to select the phone number which we are going to trigger the calls from and if you want to uh, add tags to those particular calls or uh, you can add the tags from here and uh, regarding the campaign how much budget you would like to allocate for that particular campaign and uh, when to launch that campaign you can select the date from here as well as the timings when it should start and uh, when it should end as well the end timing also we're going to select and once you click on start now it will launch the campaign okay but if you're using go high level uh, or crm campaign just click on crm campaign or uh, give it a name test and select the agent over here uh, which you have created as well as the phone number which you would like to take a call from and uh, outbound calls okay about the contacts we can import the csv file from here or if you would like to give it a tag to that particular calling list you can add the tag over here so let's just say your state you can add that tag and import the file once you import the file there will be, uh, there will be options which is the first name second name and uh, first name last name email phone number or uh, company name if there is any uh, address you can select that too in the custom fields so once we import the contacts over here I will be able to search for particular contact or you you want to edit those the detail or you want to delete a particular contact we will be able to do it from here the, those options also available and if you want to add contact as like just one we can do that from here just provide first name last name and mobile number country code 
and uh, the email company name all those things and if you want to add tag for that particular number you can add the tag here okay in order to add that contact If you want to import the contacts from CRM, we can just click on import from CRM. Once we have connected to CRM, uh, those all contacts will be imported over here. So if you go to phone numbers, uh, here we can add Twilio number with the uh, account as ID and auth token. Once you click on update credentials, that will be added. And add phone number, here you can select any number and give it a friendly name, click on take name more, that will be added and you'll be able to trigger the call and test the calling experience of the agent. If you do have a custom telephony, you can add these details and click on save or that will also work. And if you would like to mask your number, uh, that can be done from add caller ID. You just provide that number and uh, it will be masked. Okay. Uh, about the billing, if you go to billing section, we can uh, see our current plan. If you want to change the plan, we can just click on change plan and uh, the one which you want to change the plan to. And uh, if you want to add our payment methods that we can do from add new card. If you have already added a payment method and if you would like to remove, then you can remove it. Okay. Uh, regarding the billing history, we'll be able to see all those details when uh, the date, credits, amount and status of that. billing uh, we also have provided the uh, integrations options in this integration option web hooks there's an api key which we can use to fetch all these details and uh, web hooks configuration is also available we can use this to uh, fetch the data to the particular software and uh, we do have uh, zapier integration as well uh, from here you can just click on connect with zapia and connect with the zapia and uh, if you would like to have the notifications call notification lead management ai assistant action uh, calendar sync all this can be done okay yes uh that is all for the whole overview of this uh, ai calling software thanks for watching